So I have a Robur lock here from Georgia Gym. And from what I understand, this uh, Swedish lock is for things like safe deposit lock boxes and stuff like that. So it has um, five top pins and four side pins. I'm assuming those side pins interact with the sidebar. Uh, I haven't opened it up yet or done any research. Uh, the top pins feel like they have like serrations on them or something that gives them extra bits of clicks. And the sidebar pins have false gates that bite really hard. So I found that I need a lot of um, pretty tight tension control around the side pins. It does out isolate really well. So you pick the top pins first and then the side pins, which is nice. But, um, but those side pins can be pretty tricky um, to set. So we'll go ahead and start on the top pins. And um, I have this deep hook here because I'm gonna go from the bottom of the keyway. I guess you can go from this little ledge here, but I find from the bottom keyway works fine. Uh, all right, so the first one seems like it's binding. Still seems like it's binding. And I think the jiggle is really small on this. So wait, let's go see if something else. Second one, jiggle there. Third one, jiggle there. I might've dropped something in front doing that. Fourth one. Might already be jiggling. Fifth one, seems loose. Fourth one, checking that again. Yeah, it might already be jiggling. Third one, seems loose. Second one seems jiggling. First one seems like it dropped. So I remember that one went up pretty high. So let's go ahead and make sure we're on the first one. Checking it for jiggle. It's a little bit hard up there. Seems like it's still binding though. Oh wait, I think it just went up a little bit more. Seems loose. Second one, hard to test for jiggle. There's a little bit of jiggle there. Third one, jiggling. Fourth one, jiggling. And the fifth one now seems to be binding finally. All right, that seems like a jiggle on the fifth one. Jiggle on the fourth. Third. Hard to tell on the second. Nope, there it is, second. And the first one. No, I think the first one's binding. There we go, clicked it. And it looks like we dropped into a bit of a false set there. Oh my gosh, all these messages on my... All right, first one seems to be jiggle. Second. Let's go to the back, actually easier to pull forward. Fifth one, fourth one, third one. I think we have the top set. We'll go to the side. Oh, kids are home. Uh, left one. All right, the first one's not binding. Oh wait, I just got a little bit more plug movement. Second one, click out of it. Now, I'll, I'll kind of skip some things. What I do here is I lifted them up and then I drop into a deeper fall set and I could feel that there uh, got tiny, tiniest bit of movement stuck in the false gates. And then I'd have to release tension, which drop a bunch of them, repeat again to get it to the next level height. And I went through that with all four pins um, until I mapped out kind of what height I want to get them to. So I'll skip a lot of that, um, but that's what you'll have to do. You'll get them here and then you'll go into the deep false set and you'll see, hey, this one is not moving much, but that one's not much moving much. This one's not moving at all. And that one, I just got a little click out of it for. I wish my watch would stop doing this. Um, when it loses contact with the phone, it, it like catches up on all the messages I've already read on the phone. So it just go, keeps going off. All right, so anyways, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back off the tension manually a little bit. And it's gonna drop some of these sight pins down. And I wanna do that enough until I'm actually able to move the pins. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift them up to, so one is still binding. I think one is the first one to bind. So keep going off. I don't want to go so far off that I drop the top pins. That watch is annoying me. Three, four. Okay, so I want to get just to the point where they're starting to catch the one I'm setting, but not so far that like this one, second one is just absolutely stuck, can't go up at all. So I got back off the tension a little bit, get that up. All right, first one's going up, second one's going up, third one fourth one, and I'm slowly applying more and more rotation 
until some of these get stuck in place. First one. Second one is stuck. There we go. Got it up a little bit further. I'm losing all my audio because my watch. Third one. Fourth one. All right. Go back to the beginning. One. Second one is fairly loose. Third one. Fourth one. I'm applying more rotation. Second one. Third one. Apply more rotation. First. Second. I hope the third one's high enough. Okay, so I got these relatively where I want to go. I'm going to switch to a little bit higher of a, 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 a flag just so I can feel some of these high lifts a bit better. I think the second one might not be. All right, the first one's going too high, I think. One, two, maybe the third one's not high enough actually. All right, so now I'm gonna feel, now I'm gonna put, I'm full on tension and I'm gonna start feeling these pin states. So the first one moves quite a bit. It's really high up there. Second one moves quite a bit. Third one only moves a little, but a decent amount. And the fourth one doesn't move much at all. So it could be just the fourth one's not high enough. So I'll lift that up a little there. I think that might be the last to bind, so I only needed to back off tension just a little bit. And okay, so I think one and three feel good. Two, I mean, one and four feel good. Two, I think feels okay. Three is fairly short, and which is kind of weird. I would think that one of them would just completely bind in a false gate. Um, but it, I do feel some springiness, like jiggle to it. So what this causes prompts me to do is go and check my tops. Um, even though I know that I probably don't need to because it's very isolating, but this actually, <laughs> this first one doesn't, unless I'm just feeling the tensioner there. I think I was just feeling the tensioner. Hold on, I'll start from the back. Five jiggle, four jiggle, three jiggle, two jiggle. One, so hard to test. I should have brought a short hook that can get, the problem is the wording is messing with my jiggle test. If I had a short hook, I could go up there and, and test it easily. But I'm not feeling any jiggle from that. I'll go ahead. Pretty sure this is not the problem, but go ahead and push on that a little. See if it was just like caught on a lip or something. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be jiggling to me. This will probably drop most of my side pins. Which kind of sucks, but there we got another click out of the top one. Still doesn't want to jiggle for me. Do I want to go higher? Yeah, I'm not feeling jiggle from it, so I guess I'll take it higher. I'll go from the, the ledge here. I'm definitely not feeling jiggle from that. There we go, got it up higher. Will it jiggle for me now? I probably dropped all my side pins, but it, those don't matter if you don't have this top set. Strain from back. Five jiggle. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Five jiggle. One jiggle. Two jiggle. Four is really, really low, but five good. Four jiggle. Three, two. The jiggle is very small, so I think it was one was probably holding me up. Go back to my side again. Probably dropped everything here. Oh, one is still up. Two fell. One is one fell. Let's 
check one with the taller flag. It needs to go up there pretty far. That's more like it. Two, three stuff. I felt a little bit of plug rotation, and that's probably too much for me to be able to move three out of the false gate. Yep. So I'm going to let off a little. So they can move three. There we go. Three moved. And then make sure that four is up with the tall flag. And the other ones as well. Let's see. One's up high. I think two feels good. Three feels good. And I think four feels good. Yep. And then we're open. So I got stuck on that number one. Um, I thought it was jiggling. It might have been because it wasn't binding yet until I set maybe uh, the sidebars into false gates or something. In any case, there we got an open. This one, a little trickier. This, and those side pins, like I think they, they're pretty tough to figure out the first time. But once I got it figured out, um, you know, I had to go through many iterations of, of testing for false gates and stuff. Lock that back up and we'll take a look inside. I haven't, I haven't gutted this one yet. So curious what to see on the top in particular. All right, so take these screws off. some tools and we will put a shim in just in case there's any drill holes or anything I mean uh, anti-drill holes and stuff if the shim fits it seems like a very tight lock so I don't know if, if I'll have luck with these uh, these shims getting in oh, yep, we're good I think but that's not on the top Hard to see where the top is because there's no um, no Bible holes. It's just opposite of these the drill holes on the bottom. All right, doesn't seem I can get all the way through. So hopefully I can have that shim follow the follower through as I push. I'm gonna want to catch. Oh, it's tight. Okay, caught the sidebar. All right, sidebar is on this side. It's sprung pretty strong. So there's our sidebar, has a little, okay, so the height is determined by the sidebar there. Let's get you zoomed in a bit. All right, so the sidebar has the cuts on it, so that determines the height, you have to lift those. So all the side pins should be the same, that tells me. Uh, I didn't bring small, okay, springs for the sidebar, so I don't lose those. And then top pins, number five. I'm gonna leave the key in because that's gonna be what's holding the sidebar pins in. So those are all standard key pins. Um, then sidebar pins, take the key out. So these look like, uh, I don't remember, V10 pins maybe? From the, you know, the, the Asset Twins. So there's those. They each have a spring. Let's take a look at the plug, see if there's anything special there that gave us that kind of clickiness. Yeah, it looks like there's some counter milling here. So it looks like barrel style counter milling uh, where it has two small serrations on each chamber so so i'm expecting to see barrels in uh in the drivers now though i didn't i guess that's the clickiness a click click as i went through the barrel counter, counter milling but like on a twin mm, i guess i get the same same deal uh, you don't have to manually counter rotate usually for barrels and the first one is a barrel Let's push those sidebar pins up. So barrel there, then I get to my shim. Oops, pulled that out. Caused this one to shoot out. It's a barrel. Along with that. This third one is just a little wafer. Little wafer. Uh, yeah, second one I had to lift a little. Third one I had to lift a little bit further than the second one. That's interesting. Fourth one's also a little 
uh, short driver pin, just standard. And the fifth one is just a standard pin. So only two barrels. Um, they could have put more barrels in there. And these are really short driver pins. So they got those, I guess, were really low lifts. Let me see. Yeah, there's a lot of low lifts on here. So this one is the annoying one. The first one is a high lift. Um, so high lifts in the beginning are always annoying. And then we had a low lift, a uh, low lift, a low lift, and then um, I think it's this one a little, a little bit higher here. So these two, I think, should be the same height. Yep, two of the same height. Is there anything else about Nope, I think that's it as far as this lock goes. It's pretty nice and solid, the key. But there are... Let's see, put this... Yeah, here's what we got. The Rober... I think this is a safe deposit box. Um, they say Rober Sweden. All right, thanks everyone. Take care. Bye.